to the green yard. It is the end of August and I wanted to do kind of an update video as to what's been going on in the green yard, uh, what we've been up to. So much has happened and I know that I've shared a few of the planting videos. I'll continue to do that because I have planted a lot of things. Um, but I kind of wanted to go over the green yard and, and give this update because there's a lot more that goes into it than just planting plants. Uh, that's my favorite part of it, but there is a lot more that goes into it, including things that deal with infrastructure and, and stuff like that. So well, we're just going to kind of go over each part of the, of the green yard and give you a brief update here. So we're going to start over in this corner, um, which is going to be the market garden. Honestly, not a whole lot has happened over here. Um, I was going to put down cardboard to start killing the grass that's over here. That plan kind of backfired. Um, so it's just kind of, and there's a few boxes over there and then a lot of grass. So um, I'm gonna work more on this as it gets a little bit cooler and as we get into the fall uh, when I'll have uh, less plants, when I'll be planting less plants and have a little bit more time uh, to focus on the infrastructure of this market garden that's over here. Now, one of the other things that we've been I've been working on is uh, the old building that I had mentioned was here. Um, you can see I've started to take away this mound of foundation dirt that they had before. They actually had the building on a foundation of dirt instead of, of concrete. So I'm actually going to be removing this uh, and, and doing several things with it. And you can see I've already taken out uh, a portion here of it. Now, um, there's also this pile over here of uh, tree parts, uh, logs, branches, a few other things. Here in Phoenix we have something called Major Pickup which is happens once a quarter and we are able to basically take our bulk items out and the city comes and picks it up. So uh, that's all in preparation for Major Pickup and that's also mostly from the trimming of the mulberry tree which I did a video on that which will be coming out shortly as well. Um, planted a few more trees over along the pool area here you can see that the Jamaican cherry is doing really 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 well right now. Um, I'm actually very very happy with how it's doing. Uh, there's a whole bunch of cherries on here pretty much everywhere you look there's more cherries. There was actually one that was uh, turning ripe the other day, but it looks like that might have fallen off there. Um, so it definitely still still has a way to go, but it, it it's starting to look happy, and that's very exciting, especially since we've had the hottest summer on record, with the majority of the last 50 days being above uh, 110 degrees. So uh, very impressed with how that's doing. Also planted a Barbados cherry, which I did a video on recently. And a little update on him. He ended up needing some afternoon shade, but it's grown about a foot in the last little bit there. Um, so it, it's it's looking okay um, for the temperature and for everything that's been going on. It's doing very well. Over here in the uh, stone fruit orchard area, uh, planted the uh, Granny Smith apple. Uh, which I'm doing a video on that as well and we'll be releasing it soon. Uh, it needed afternoon shade as well. You can see it's doing okay. Um, it's got a little, little crispy here and there but it is putting off some new growth so I think it will end up being okay here. Like I said before, you know, not everything in the green yard is involving plants. So, um, you know, we have our house as well, doing some work with our house, installing some more uh, turbines on the top to kind of get more ventilation. And those are here uh, in the ground here as well. Spray painted them black to match the existing ones that are up there. Um, over in the pool area is where we're heading next. The pool area has seen very little change in terms of um, you know planting things like that. Pools doing very well. Uh, the few things that I do want to show are the fact that some of my bananas here have created pups. So this is an ice cream blue java banana pup. 
that has come up, you can see the other stock has kind of disintegrated. That puff has come up. The Cuban Royal Palms did not make it through the summer. Very, very sad about that. But um, sometimes that happens in life. So uh, hopefully I'll get to try again with those and uh, bring some more Cuban Royal Palms to this. I actually just noticed last night as well. I do have another banana pup coming up right here. So once again, at least two successes with those banana pups being transplanted. So I'm, I'm very happy about that. That's actually a, a ice cream banana as well, blue java banana. Um, once again, infrastructure. So we purchased this uh, gazebo. It's actually in a galvanized steel gazebo. It's beautiful. Um, so I've been working on putting that together, spending a lot of time on that. It's going to create some very nice shade for this area and make a very nice patio area around our fire pit table that we have there. So once again, you know, uh, not everything involves plants. And here is a perfect example of that with that beautiful gazebo that's been put out there. Um, this area hasn't seen a lot of change either. Um, probably going to work more on this when it cools down as well, including working on the path and kind of getting all of this straight away. Um, I have a lot of brick work to do in terms of building paths, and I'll be documenting that as well to uh, show those paths because that really does matter, and it really is part of the green yard and the total look of this yard. I did plant this monkey pod tree here. I'm so excited about this one. It's a beautiful, beautiful tree. Getting that afternoon shade, and the, the goal for it is to, you know, cover this whole space in a beautiful, beautiful large canopy where uh, we can get that shade and therefore plant some additional tropicals, things like that in this area. So we're going to head over to uh, the pond part of the yard, the really tropical part of the yard. That's honestly where I've been spending most of my time um, creating different things. Um, I'm going, going to and recently purchased items to make a nice brick path along here, going back to it, and I want to put in a fence as well, so something that will be coming here shortly. Uh, I just planted this Gramachama tree, which the video will be coming shortly with that. And then you can see over here, I do still have my Pakistani mulberry to plant, but other than that, most everything else has been planted here in this back area. Uh, it's looking very tropical. I'm very, very excited. Now, one of the main things I wanted to talk to you guys about is, in this update, is that of flood irrigation. So, back to that infrastructure here at the green yard, we fortunately have flood irrigation, which means that once every two weeks, we get a, an hour and a half of water that comes from the front yard and it floods the entire property. It's part of the reason why our grass is so green. It's very cost effective and also very nutrient rich because it is river water that's coming in and deep soaking all of these trees, all of these plants. So um, with that, you have to control the flow of water. And you can do that by building berms, which are, you know, rounded edges around the, uh, the side of the property. So, um, I, I've spent a lot of time building those berms. I built one around the pond here. It didn't work, which is why there's actually water in the pond from the recent flood irrigation here. I do have to fix this, which will be uh, a video in itself. I want to start showcasing the more, um, infrastructure pieces of the green yard as well, not just planting. So I'm going to show the, um, basically the berm, how I built that berm. We also put a berm along the driveway here that we have. Uh, you can see that it's been kind of demolished. We had a very strong rain and uh, it ended up being about a foot and a half of water that was on the concrete here. Um, had to take out part of that burn berm help that water drain because it just wasn't draining that well on its own so things that I've learned I have to actually put in some drainage pipes some PVC pipes into my berm so that way it does get the drainage that it needs uh, to flow out of the driveway here so 
going to do a little video on that as well. Um, I think that's important to showcase, uh, you know, different projects, not just those plants there. The, the final thing that I'm really excited about is not only making that brick path, which is going to extend here along the middle, all the way from over by that lemon tree, all the way over to here. But I'm also excited because I'm going to uh, start building a circle, kind of a uh, a patio here and going to eventually put a um, round uh, gazebo on here um, the kind of gazebo that you see in like Jap Japanese friendship gardens um, those type of, of gardens and I'm, I want to put that gazebo here as kind of a sitting space to sit here and enjoy the beautiful pond and the beautiful tropical trees that you see in the background there as well I also don't include very often the feeding schedule of my plants. I like to uh, feed my plants. I haven't been doing it as much as I need to, and you can see some of that in the new foliage on the Kerry Mango, as well as the state of the Jabotacaba or Japotacaba and the Soursop tree there. They're just not uh, getting the nutrients that they need. So I'm going to start doing a little bit more video on nutrients just because that is so important for those trees to be successful is to include those nutrients in there. We did buy as well a big huge shade cover for our driveway here where we park our cars just because at this time we do not have a garage or a carport that will be changing probably in the next five ten years but at this point in time uh, we wanted something that would shade our cars and uh, provide us that extra shade there that extra support um, it does have a very large white cover as well um, but it's not secured enough into the ground to put that on at the moment just because we are still in the monsoon season with those big thunderstorms and we don't want it to you know rip or blow away there so lots of things going on um, lots of infrastructure happening uh, I'm gonna try to film more videos based on that infrastructure uh, based on the uh, berms and things of that nature and of course, update you guys as to how the green yard is going as soon as I start getting fruit, doing some tasting videos as well. And, you know, just, just continuing to continue in the green yard and uh, enjoying, enjoying life and making it a profitable, beautiful, and livable space. So, um, you know, if you do have any questions or anything, please feel free to comment down in the comment section. Um, I'm starting to work on uh, replying to those comments. And of course, just as always, remember to live green, plant lots of plants, and have fun. We'll see you next time.